everybody. I um I'm sorry. I realize that it's not one o'clock. It is or twelve o'clock. It is uh, almost two o'clock. No, it's one twenty. One twenty. Um, I have all sorts of excuses as to why I forgot to start at twelve. But uh, one of them is my daughter got her um, her driver's permit today, and uh, something about the DMV makes all time feel. Um, uh, a little ridiculous so there's that and there's um, I have so much inventory that's come into the store I have all these paper crafty uh, paper artsy paints and stamps and stencils that have come in and so I'm going to demonstrate one of them right now but um, I've just been overwhelmed trying to get them all out on the shelves and on the website in a way that you guys can see them and uh, it's not going to end anytime soon either because I've gone um, uh, shopping and then some more ordering so there'll be more stuff coming in all of uh, Seth After's new stuff all of paper artsies brand new colors um, I have a ton of stuff coming in um, well you've seen all the Elizabeth craft designs if you watched my product reveal so anyway I've just got lots uh, to do and also lots to show you so let me go ahead and change the camera so you can see what I'm doing remind myself how to do this and that way you can see what I'm working on um, I did some jelly printing last week and ended up with some fun stuff. And I ended up with a few that were just meh. You know, I ended up with some ones that are great, but um, the meh ones I usually put aside to, you know, either re jelly print on or do other things. And I realized this is a really good um, example. These are good to, to make examples of these new stamps I just got in. Um, I have, I've had stamps by this designer before. This is Paper Artsy Stamps, and this is Tracy Scott. And she's, uh, she's one of their bigger designers. She has um, her own line of paint colors, for instance, with them. And, uh, and she has these really beautiful stamps. And I really encourage you, if you're interested in her style, um, checking out her Facebook creative um, group, because she posts stuff constantly about what she's doing with it and um, it's really beautiful the stuff she does and so I just wanted to show you um, what I love about her style actually let me think about this she's gonna start with a smaller one um, on her website you'll see that she does a lot of repetitive pattern making with her her stamps so this is her smaller one this is uh, I'm gonna be using this design here. I'm going to be using my VersaFine Claire, which is my favorite, favorite um, stamp pad for uh, fine stamps because it really picks up the detail. And I'm just going to start here in the middle on the edge of my work. Give it a nice solid stamp. And uh, you can see how crisp that comes out on top of that color. It's beautiful. And this is a pigment ink, so this will um, uh, come out nice and, and bright like that. And then I'm just going to do, I'm going to line it up so that the pattern meets itself. Do it again. Do it again. And what Tracy has is a bunch of um, different stamps that kind of the sets work like this so that you can put them together and get these sort of repetitive patterns. Now this is a little bit of a challenge for me because with this kind of stamping, I tend to be a little um, rushed. You know, I'm, a, I'm an impatient uh, crafter, a lot of you know that about me. And so I don't always take the time to really line up and be cautious about how I throw my stamps down. So this this is a, a nice challenge for me, even now. Like, Take the time, make it flat. There we go. Feel free to ask questions, make comments if you want. So there, you can see I've started. And um, now I'm going to add another layer. And if you go on her her um, Facebook group, you'll see how people layer these in with each other to make them really um, repetitive, but also with the other stamps and how the other stamps work with them. We can see why the paper, the wax paper is important. Um, 
she often goes in, I doubt I have time to do this because with the um, Facebook rooms, I only, I only get half an hour, but she goes in and she does these very elaborate, you know, she uses paint and markers and things like that to fill in the, the gaps on the stamp to make them really beautiful. And um, I don't know if you can see the, the actual pictures on the stamps. You can see how much detail it pulls out when you do that. Um, this is just literally, this is just black ink on top of the color of my, um, my jelly printing from the other day. And don't worry, I will, well, one, I'll get this into inventory today so you can buy them, but they'll be on the website today and you can purchase them. Or, you may know this, but if you don't, I am taking um, appointments again and you are welcome to come in and shop in real time. See this stuff on the shelves, ask me questions, I am here. Always been here, been here the whole time. All right, I don't know if you can see how already I've got, and I have this very vivid line going up the top, uh, middle too. So um, I have there's a stamp on there that might work to fill that in, or I could leave it and go in and fill it out. Ooh, I actually have an idea. I'll show you guys for that. Okay. Hey Kendall. Um, there's quite a bit of a delay if you're leaving a comment. Um, it, I think we we timed it. It's, it's lots of seconds, if not minutes, before I see you guys what you say pop up. So forgive me if I don't respond right away. Now, obviously, you can do this with all sorts of stamps. You don't have to use Stacy's or Tracy's, but Tracy's um, style is specifically for this. So, like, she designs them to work together this way. And I'll show you one of her other pieces in a minute. So there, right off the bat. And then what I'd probably do is come in and trim the edges off. And I'm going to clean my stamp because if I don't, I'll end up all icky. I am a little bit. So this is just a baby wipe and I'm just wiping off the excess um, ink. So I'm going to put this back on the, on the mat. And then I'm going to try see if I can find a spot for this little, it's a little um, detail here. I'm going to throw this down on it and see how that looks. So I'll be honest, I didn't quite get this square enough, but I don't know if you can see um, how her stamps, if I'd been a little more careful, maybe if I'd done this at the same time, this would fit in between there. It's a little too big right now. so. I'm actually going to embellish this in another way. So this is the stamp set. Uh, it's this uh, TS051. They don't name them, which is a bummer to me because I, I like stamp sets to have names and then it's easy to find them. But it's TS Tracy Scott 051. And then you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to come in. Here's uh, my Marigold liquid text or liquid pearls and the liquid pearls um, you know they all have a metallic sheen so um, it's not gold but it is goldish because the all the um, liquid pearls are, are metallic and of course it doesn't want to come in and what's so great about the liquid pearls and the stickles in general is that they have this tiny 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 tip so you can make little embellishing dots and come in and add little details without any special tool. Um, 
except of course you need you need to be patient and concentrate. Actually, these uh, stamps would be great for, you know, using the liquid text or the liquid pearls in general. Come along and make these little embellishments pop out. So, for instance, that was some gold. I'm going to put gold on all the little dots here in the mandala. Mandala. And the point with these stamps is to be repetitive. So to do the same thing over and over and over again so that you get the impact of the... <laughs> oh, well, I'm glad you can still see me, Yasmin. Um, nice to see your name pop up. And uh, hopefully you can see some of these details. If not, you can always make an appointment, come in and see the sample in person. Um, I know you were thinking about doing that. I realized, just realized I forgot to attach the mic. Hopefully you can hear me okay. Thanks. There are some uh, Links popping up. I'll have. I'll add the link later when I have this on uh, the stamp set inventory and up for you. So you can see there's lots of opportunities. My store hours are. Um, oh, just open store hours. I don't. I'm going to give it a few weeks as long as things keep going down. You know, I'll I'll consider it in a few weeks. Um, having just general, it'll still be modified in the sense that it'll be only one person at a time, and you'll have to wear your mask and all that. But um, I am thinking about having more. Just generally, you can show up, and if there's nobody here, you can come in. Kind of store hours. Um, I was just talking about that with my husband. It feels like we're at a much better place than we used to be. For around the holidays, anyway. Okay. Um, thank you. I don't know if you can see the details there. And let's see, I'm going to come in and draw in these little heart shapes with the liquid pearls. And you could go nuts, right? You could get the liquid pearls are a dimensional glue too so um, they actually create a um, a lump you know if you, when you squeeze them out they dry in the shape that you squeeze them out in so these will be dimensional in that way And I can tell you, I've met Stacy, Stacy, Tracy Scott, Tracy Scott. That's my dyslexia kicking in. Um, last year at uh, Creativation when it was live, and she was a lovely, is a lovely person. So I always like it when I meet people and they turn out to be just really nice. Always gratifying. Makes me want to support them even more, even though. I'll support people I don't like, even if I like their products, obviously, but nice to know. She's a nice person. And she has this just this great, like the sample she had in the booth was just so eye-popping. It's one thing I really miss about going, you know, everything being virtual this year is that I don't get to see those samples or meet the designers at the Craft show. It's huge. Huge. Looks like you can see how 
gleamy this is ending up, which is nice. Actually, I've been doing so much in the way of inventory, it's nice to take a little craft break and not be counting and counting. Because not only am I putting old new stuff on the shelves and making sure the old stuff is accurately represented. So when you buy something, I don't have to email you and say, I'm sorry, it's not actually in stock. Because, you know, I'm, I was a little lazy over the years grabbing things for classes, you know, when you take something off the shelves, you should say, you should tell the system it's taken off the shelf. And I don't always do that because I'm lazy or excited and running to show you guys something. Anyway, um, if, if you are interested in coming into the store, you can message me via Facebook. You can email me at contact at craftingthisonline.com. Um, those are both really good ways to get a hold of me. Anyway. Let's see. Look at that. Already that looks really remarkably pretty. Let's see. And then what I'll probably do after all of this is trim it down so that it's even and so that the middle the middle motif is central. My kids go to a school where the handcraft and, you know, crafting is a big part of the actual curriculum. And uh, when I was, you know, they were new to it and I was asking them what the, what the reason for the crafting was, um, the teacher said it's, it's, it tames the will. Basically, it, you have to Practice your patience, and it, if you want to get it done, if you want this thing, the kids would craft things that they actually ended up using in the classroom. Um, if you want, to, you know, if you want it to be done, you have to do the work. So I always think when I get to a point where I'm like, ah, there's so much left to do. I think, tame the will, get that will in line. Okay. Oh, every time I think, oh, that's the only place to put stuff, I think, oh no, there's more. If you can see how that's already popping up, then you feel really pretty. You could uh, do this with a gold gel pen too. Um, you don't have to use dimensional paints. You could do it with a very fine-tipped paintbrush. I think it's what Tracy uses in her demos. And she's using her paint. Her paint, she has 24 colors with Paper Artsy, and they're very pretty and vibrant. So they make a nice contrast to this. <laughs> I have to say, this is very, um, uh, what's the, the word, calming, this meditation, filling in all the dots. 
I am really enjoying actually the monochromatic, the gold and the blue and the black. But I could also see having chosen to do like a rainbow ombre coming out of the um, the stamp, starting with a color on the inside and moving through colors as you go further and further through the stamp. That would have been really pretty too. And uh, Tracy does a lot of work on sort of rainbow backgrounds too, if you look at her stuff. If you can see how that, that's coming out. Let me see if you actually can see that I've missed a spot. One thing about liquid pearls is they do take a little while to dry, so you don't want to move it around too much when you've just finished it because it'll it's very easy to smear. And I don't know how many times I'm like, don't forget it, and then tried to move it and put my thumb in it because I wasn't cautious enough. All right. Nope, not quite. Oops, I'm hand-eye coordination. Okay, I could keep going, obviously, but I think that is good for my demonstration. Hopefully, you can see how easy that was. That was, what, 20 minutes? Um, I don't want to run out of time. It kicks me off when I get too long. So um, how easy was that? And then obviously this is about as simple because I just used the one stamp. If I wanted to get elaborate with it, I could have used the, all the stamps in combination and created a pattern, used a bigger piece of paper and created a pattern that was more elaborate. Um, and I could have used all sorts of colors. I could have used all sorts of paints to pull out the details. Um, but I'm pretty, I think that looks pretty yes, amazing the way it is. Anyway, uh, let's see. Let's do this and this. And hopefully now you can see me. Anyway, thank you for joining me. Uh, sorry it wasn't on time, but uh, I will set my alarm for next week. And um, I'm always here at 11. That is um, ingrained in my brain now for 11 o'clock on Fridays. Uh, for my art, um, my art journaling demo, and nowadays we're also doing a one o'clock um, product reveal for the shop. And I have several boxes I could open on Friday for you this time. Um, one from Prima, one from Paper Artsy, uh, one from Ranger. So many things. Anyway, hope to see you at one of them. And like I said, message me if you want to come into the store.